Merry meet guys. This is Gypsy Wolf. I hope you're having a wonderful week. We're almost done. Almost done the work week, right? Okay, so I'm coming today to share with you some of the ways you can take a spiritual bath. And there are so many different ways to do this. There are so many different reasons we can do these. But I will say this. As a magician, it is essential. It is a must to take these baths. Okay? Especially the cleansing ones. And I'm, I took a couple little notes for once. So I'm going to read them off to you as you check out my... I have my black white candle that might be going. My heart chakra candle that's about to be lit. All that. So you can look at that while I read here. The reasons and uses for these baths. Um, it's great for cleansing your aura, cleansing negativity, removing energy from spell work that you've done. Okay, so not all of us are on uh, the bright side of things. Sometimes we cross over to the dark side, and, you know, for justified reasons. And man, do you want to cleanse yourself after that. It's also helpful in lifting hexes and curses. It, protect, it also protects against hexes and curses. Um, it can also open, help to open your chakras. It can bring in love. It can bring in abundance. So those are some of the main reasons. These are so helpful. Now, what I like to do is to have certain candles specifically for what I'm trying to achieve. Okay, so right now I have a black candle to remove negative energies, a white candle to bring in protection and healing white, warm, beautiful light. I'm currently working on my heart chakra, among others, but I was not able to find any candles that said sacral uh, root or solar plexus chakra, but... You see, I have my heart chakra there. So I'm just trying to work on that right now during this retrograde because I tend to close it off. So I'm trying to keep it open. Okay, so candles. I think it's a great idea to have a black and white one going or just a couple to put you in a good frame of mind, a good mood. Because you're going to want to turn off the lights and just envelop yourself in this beautiful, warm healing, protective, cleansing light. Okay, that is the whole point. Now for my incense, you can see I have my <laughs> notebook in the sink. My incense here, I have a lavender slash lemon blend. And the reason, and I wrote it down, trying to be all nifty. You can see my terrible handwriting there. The reason I chose today, lavender and lemon, is because lavender represents the air element. It you know, which is movement, um, the throat chakra, communication, and it just has a super calming effect for love, towards others, yourself, family members, friends, okay? And then the lemon, I, I just, I can't get enough of using lemon, any type, any type of lemongrass, whatever. Lemon is amazing for cutting and clearing any obstacles in our way, brings a sense of warm love, removes stagnant energy, etc. Okay, and now to get to the most important part. What do we add to our bath water? Now, I only have a couple things to show you here for demons. Well, I'm actually using them. Demonstrative purposes, I don't have everything right now, unfortunately, but... A couple things we can do. I have here, this is my, oh, I just, I love this. This was my favorite batch to this date. It's a cleansing slash protective bath blend. And it has all types of, you know, regular Epsom salt, sea salt, herbs, essential oils, all that. If you go and look at my videos, I do have a video on how I make this. And I'm almost out, but I just, I love it. It truly cleanses the aura. It brings in protection. It brings in self-love. It's amazing. And if you don't want to make it, 
where you don't have the ingredients or you're feeling a little, you know, like you're new to this and you would like someone a bit more experienced to make it for you, please contact me and I'd be happy to make it for you. That's not a problem. I can always do that. It So my email is gypsywolf83 at gmail.com. So go for it. Email me. The next thing, I also did a video on this. Four Thieves Magical Four Thieves Vinegar. And this one that I made is specifically for protection. So go check out that video too. Again, if you need me to make it for you. Or you even want some of this batch, not a problem. But I have several bottles, so I always have plenty of this. It's very strong scented. It's not pretty or anything like that. So you only want to add a few drops. You do not need a lot at all. You know, I would say anywhere from, I would probably do 13 little drops in my bath water. Okay, so that's if you really need to bring in the protection. Okay, a little added oomph. You can use war water. You know, a few drops of that if you're dealing with people, you know, throwing the evil eye at you, um, are jealous of you, you think that there might be some negative magic being thrown against you, war water is also a great alternative. Again, a few drops. So I'm going, I'm not going to be using my Four Thieves vinegar tonight. What I am going to use are my bath salts, and then I'm also going to use, because like I said, I'm using my heart chakra candle. I wanted to use some really pretty pink, fresh rose petals. And I did rinse these, but these came from a bouquet from a wedding. So I just feel like they have that added element of love and commitment. And this isn't in the sense of getting someone else to commit to you. This can just mean committing to yourself, that you're going to love yourself. And who doesn't want to just, you know, bathe in rose petals? It just feels luxurious, right? So, you know, that's another really lovely option. And I think I say it in a lot of my videos. For me, roses have a really protective quality to them. They're just such an amazing botanical to use. If you don't have fresh, that's perfectly fine. Use dried. But just keep in mind... If you don't want to clean up the bathtub, if you only have like little pieces, I would wrap it in cheesecloth and drop that in your bath water. You could also use um, one of those little tea strainers and put, you know, the little dried rose petals in there and drop that in your bath water. I prefer cheesecloth, but we'll get to that. Okay, so a few other things that you can use. Definitely basic salt. That's it. Just simple sea salt. And all you have to do is pray over it. You know, anything, any prayer, I, I can give you chance all night long. Okay? But when you're speaking from the heart, that is ten times more powerful, guys. Okay? So, just pray over it and say, you know, call on whatever deities or ancestors you would like. And simply say, you know, I, the salt will now cleanse me. And remove negative energies. I am now protected. Something simple like that. Uh, Florida water, which I think I already said. Um, oh, you know what? I'm looking over here now. I have this little set. This is from the dollar store, guys. But it's all coconut and vanilla. Coconut is really good for protection. Vanilla is really good for love. Um... What else? I really like it for love. That's probably my favorite way to use it. Lust, because I don't know too many people that like the scent of vanilla in the sense where it doesn't make them feel all warm and fuzzy inside. So, yeah, this is a Dollar Tree find. So you could always just use some of these. Or, you know, powdered, you know, flaked coconut. That's also good. If you want to attract beauty... Yes, I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> if you want to attract beauty, you could use things such as, you know, powdered milk, honey, um, along with the rose petals, things like that. And you can also add gemstones, too, to your bath water. That's a really fun way to include gemstones into your magic and your everyday life. You can use, let's see, 
smoky quartz for protection. What could we use for... Hold on. Let me look at my notes again. I'm so annoying tonight. I'm sorry. Um, you could use a tiger's eye or amethyst for protection. And if you're really aiming for beauty and love, you know, I would probably add a rose quartz. And if you are doing this for love, guys, okay? And again, I'm going to reiterate this. I'm not talking about love from others. I'm just talking about love in general. Call on the right goddesses for love. Or gods, if you're a man. You know, Aphrodite, Lilith, if you go, you know, devil on the dark side. Um, things like that. It just, it can never hurt to take a few extra steps at the end of your day or at the beginning, depending on when you like to take your bath. I prefer to take it at night. To just cleanse yourself of all these negative energies and bring in the protective light. And a great way to do this is a simple bath and light your incense, put on music that works for you, that puts you in a good state of mind. You could simply listen to a 10 to 20 minute guided meditation while you're in the bath and soaking and all of that. So that's basically it. I feel like that was a little dry for me. I tend to be a little bit more, um, I don't know, exuberant, should I say? But what I'm going to be doing, I already lit these three candles. With this one, I'm going to be calling in certain deities, okay, for what I'm trying to accomplish. I'll run the bath water, I'll put in the bath salts, I'll put in the rose petals, I'll light my incense as my offering to my deities, and also to put me in the right state of mind. I'll put on the correct music for what I am trying to personally accomplish at the moment. And I'll just soak in that tub and let it all go and just recharge. And that's another really cool thing. If you take your baths in the morning and you want a quick recharge, a little bit of Florida water or salt or both, you are good to go. That will wake you up, and I love that. Um, you can just take a little bit in a bowl, like a bowl such as this, and, you know, rinse yourself off quickly and take that Florida water in the bowl or salt or both and pour it over yourself if you're in the shower. And then, you know, continue soaping up and shampooing and all that good stuff. But it does give you an extra surge for the beginning of your day. So I wanted to share this because we are in the retrograde and I feel like it is one heck of a retrograde this time. I'm feeling it big time. I've been waking up, like, panicking with anxiety, anxiety attacks, and I know it's not me I know it's a darn retrograde, so I am doing everything in my power to keep myself in check. I have a lot of good things going on for me right now, a lot of good possible jobs, you know, and other things in my personal life that I'd rather not share, so I just want to make sure I do everything I possibly can to not allow this retrograde to mess with anything good that has recently come into my life or ever come into my life. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, um, please leave them below. If you liked this, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. That would be cool. Um, and please let me know what type of videos you want to see. I have to do a few for clients, but I'm doing this to share my knowledge with you guys. You know, I spent 20 years plus years with my nose and books and... I didn't have YouTube, you know, I was a solitary practitioner, so I really am here to help you guys, so please let me know what you want to see next, and I would love to show you whatever you want to see, and I'm not opposed to doing anything dark at this point, <laughs> you guys want to see it, I will show you, okay, have a wonderful Thursday and Friday, and as always, blessed be.